Hey friends, Matt aka Martin here, and in this video I want to show you a cool and quick technique that you can use to easily turn absolutely any sound into a riser using only one effect inside of Ableton Live. Let's jump right in. So for this to work, you will need access to the most recent version of Ableton Live 11 with the updated reverb device, and that's because we're gonna be using the smoothing control attached to the size parameter. So here I have this dreamy keys loop, which we're gonna be turning into a riser sound, which sounds like this. To start with, I'm gonna add a reverb device onto this audio track. With the reverb device, we're gonna turn off the input filter, the early reflections, the diffusion network, and the chorus, turn the pre-delay all the way down to its minimum value, and turn the stereo up to its highest value. You can adjust the stereo later, depending on how wide you want this riser to sound, but for the moment, we're just gonna leave it all the way spread out because we want this to be a really wide riser sound. If you're unsure of what all these different parameters that we just turned off do, I've done a whole video explaining reverb in detail, which you can check out via the card above. But in this video, we're just gonna focus on two main parameters inside of the reverb, which is this freeze section and this size section. So as I play this keys track back, have a listen to what happens happens as I adjust this size parameter. You can hear like a re-pitching effect going on in the reverb of this sound. And the reason that we're using the most recent version of Ableton Live 11 with the updated reverb device is because as we adjust this size control, we can actually smooth that re-pitching effect with this smooth parameter, which by default is set to fast. In older versions of Ableton Live's reverb, this is set to none, or in fact, there's no smooth control at all. And as we adjust the size parameter, we kind of get this weird artifacty type effect. You can hear that kind of crackle. So we want to have this smooth control set to either slow or fast. I'm going to leave it set to fast at the moment. And we're going to be using this size parameter to create that riser sound. But before we do that, we need to have an extended reverb, which we're going to be using the freeze control for. So I've done a whole video explaining how this freeze control works and some different ways that you can use it. But basically what it does is it freezes the diffusion portion of the reverb. So it just extends out indefinitely. Now there's also two controls associated with this freeze control, which is this flat and this cut control right here. And with this cut control on, it's only going to freeze the reverb at the last kind of reverberated part of the signal. So if I play this and hit freeze, The reverb is now frozen and it's not receiving any new input. However, if I turn off this cut control, now as I hit freeze, new input is gonna be added continuously to this frozen reverb sound and it's gonna get louder and louder and louder over time, which is what we want for this. So now if I engage the freeze control, have a listen to how it just keeps getting louder and added to over time. So what we're gonna do is combine this freeze control and that movement of the size parameter to create an automated riser effect. So with this cut control turned off, I'm gonna engage the freeze control. I'm gonna right click on the size control, show the automation in a new lane, and I'm gonna automate the size control to go from high to low over the course of however long I want this riser sound to be. Now have a listen to what happens. So obviously you can adjust some other parameters here in the reverb as well. And if you want this to just be the sound of the reverb, you can set it to 100% wet. You could automate this dry wet control over time if you want to as well. But that is in effect, the really simple way to create a riser sound using just one effect inside of Ableton Live. And so I've actually gone ahead and used this technique and turned it into a one knob riser effect rack that you can use to turn absolutely any sound into a riser that sounds just like this. If you wanna go and grab this rack for yourself, there'll be a free download link in the description, but let me show you quickly how it works. So here I've got the same keys loop loaded up and on this track I have Martin's one knob riser effect and I lie slightly it's two knobs but I wanted a control for the dry level in there as well and as we increase this rise knob control basically what it's doing is automating the size and freeze parameters of that reverb to turn on or off and decrease uh, respectively and so we get this rising effect that we can automate and control really easily and simply. So for the purposes of this let me right click show the automation in a new lane and let's increase this parameter over the course of this sound and now have a listen to what we've got.
I've also got two other sounds here, a vocal sound, which we'll do the exact same thing with, and then a drum beat as well, which we'll do the exact same thing with too. So have a listen to how it sounds on the vocal. Take me somewhere we can be alone. And then on the drum beat. Pretty cool stuff. And if you want the dry level to fade out over time, that's why I've also included the dry level control. So we could say automate that for this keys clip here to decrease the level of the dry signal over time. Now, once you've created your riser using this one knob effect or using this technique, you can of course also go and add further effects like phases, EQs, filters, etc., to adjust the sound of the riser to your liking. As an example, I've gone ahead here and added an EQ, a phaser, and a filter to this reverb inside of the one knob riser rack. And I've automated various parameters on these different devices, like the peak movement of the EQ, the center frequency of the phaser and the cutoff frequency of an auto filter. So now we get a cool riser sound that sounds like this from our keys loop. And so there is a simple technique that you can use to turn absolutely any sound into a riser inside of Ableton Live. Again, if you want to grab the one knob riser rack, there'll be a link down into the description where you can download it for free. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. If you want to learn about some more ways to create your own riser sound, check out this video right here. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something and I'll see you all in the next video.